Hi everyone! So today I am here with a video that I am actually really, 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 really excited to make for you guys. So this is kind of my bullet journal setup uh, for you guys. And I just want to let you know this is my second month bullet journaling. My first month was very... Um, kind of weird because I did a lot of watching YouTube videos and kind of getting ideas and collecting ideas and uh, kind of mimicking them in my bullet journal myself kind of copying down the stuff that I thought I would use and that was kind of like trial and error and now I'm into July and I've brought some things over from what I used in June but I've tweaked things a little bit I've done kind of different things with them to kind of fit more of what I need so I do have a planner I do have a rewind planner both of those are very separate from this. This is where I keep a lot of more personal things, things I like to keep track of, um, goals for myself, things like that. So what I obviously don't want to show you any sort of like personal information I don't want to show you, I have put post-it notes on top of, but I'll still explain what I keep track of and everything like that. So my bullet journal is nothing super fancy. I use an Erin Condren notebook. This was actually the free notebook I got for or from ordering my planner. And I kind of wanted to use it as my tester notebook just to kind of see if I actually liked bullet journaling before I started using the other notebooks. But I know there is like a specific bullet journal notebook you could use. But honestly, the way I do it, you could go to the store and buy a 25 cent notebook, have a pen, and that, that could be literally it. Um, I just use this and a pen, and, or not a pen, a pencil. Literally any old pencil I have, I use. Um, I did that all June. July, I have started incorporating colored pencils into to it just so there's a little bit more uh, color variety but I'll explain that as I go so like I said this is just one of the Erin Condren hardbound um, notebooks but you could again use anything that you want so I have the bookmark here on June but I am gonna go ahead and flip to July for you guys so this is my first page of July. Now I didn't do a cover page for June. I just kind of started with my calendar and all of that. But I've seen a lot of people do these really beautiful uh, cover pages. I am personally not an artist at all. My handwriting isn't even that great. Um, so you're going to see that throughout. Don't expect it to be perfect. But um, you know I feel like that's something that a lot of people kind of cower back from bullet journaling because of because I didn't want to do this for the longest time because I was like I'm not artistic my handwriting's crap but once I started doing it I realized how much I love it and how it really has helped me keep track of things and be kind of more organized on top of already being pretty pretty well organized if you ask me so I did do a cover page for July I've decided from every month now on I'm gonna do a cover page and do some sort of artwork at the top I tried I don't know if you can see how well but I've erased it um, I try to do like a picnic down here but I, again I'm not very artistic uh, so I stuck with my little basic fireworks but I was thinking for August I might try and do like palm leaves and do something that pertains uh, to the month and of course I might show you guys that or maybe uh, do something like this or maybe even just do it and fast forward it and make it like a time lapse we'll see but for July I just did some basic little fireworks up top I did like a script July and I went back over it with the colored pencils and I thought it was kind of funny how I made a little firework up here but that is my cover page and I don't do page numbers or anything I just will always put my bookmark here but because I'm still in June currently it's still on my June so the next page, I decided to kind of switch this around. So in my June spread, I had my quote kind of thrown in the middle, but I really wanted my quote to be um, the first page you see when you flip from your July cover page to your quote. I wanted to do a quote each month to kind of, I don't know, make me feel a little bit more motivated or kind of... Um, help me in the situations I'm in. I think my quote that I did in June was about like patience. Um, in this one I wanted to kind of have a quote reminding me to stay positive. So I just do a little fancy like, you know, not nothing real fancy actually, just like underlining, squiggles, half, you know, cal not calligraphy, but half cursive. And I don't know, I just try and make it a little bit more fun rather than just like a printed quote um, but I just did focus on what matters and good things will happen I don't know who did that I should have I, in June I put the person but I think I just found this off of Google 
So I have that on the other side of my cover page. And then the first actual like help full page uh, that I have here is my monthly view. So I did do a calendar up here. I did a calendar in June and I realized how much I truly liked that. Um, so I did a calendar. I didn't cross off the days that aren't in the month of July and I also didn't want to do the half days that are in like your normal calendar. I just felt like that was kind of frustrating for me. Um, so in June what I do is I just take my pencil and the day I'm filling it out which I typically reach for this every day because I'm on my computer or near my planner every single day. Um, I just cross it off. I just do a little X in the corner. I don't do a big X and then I just fill out the rest of the month and I do this every single day and I'll explain a little bit so what I would do is I would fill this out and I'll fill out some more things and things like that. So I have my monthly view, my calendar up here. Down here I have my monthly goals and then I this is kind of where I incorporated the two different colors that I use from my um, cover page here. So I just used red and blue. I'm thinking for August I'll use yellow and green and I just made little check boxes with that. So I have my monthly goals set up down here and then events. I'm thinking I may have to um, make this its own page if there's more things going on like for December for example when all of the holidays are happening I might have to make the events a little bit larger maybe cut my quote page in half and have monthly goals and events here I don't know I'll figure that out as that happens but uh, for July there's really nothing happening just the 4th of July and our Vegas vacation on the 22nd so I just have that there and then on this side I kind of cut it I have a line here but you can't really see it it's right here um, I have our bill payoff list I covered most of this but I did still kind of want to show you I talk about my bills often in my plan with me's but some of these things I feel are just a little weird to share but I have our bill payoff list at the bottom you can see AT&T and gas I just have the numbers next to it I did 1 through 12 because we have 12 bills but I realized as I did that that I kind of want to next time maybe put the date that they're due next to it rather than putting it numerically and then again I just have the red and blue check boxes that I will check off as I pay those so then on my next page uh, this is kind of my health page I did this last month but I didn't do this last month and I really like that I did this so on this page here I have my two kind of health trackers I have my mood tracker and my health tracker like I said so you turn it sideways I fill this out every single day um, so I have my mood I have great okay and upset I like kind of tracking my mood just to see like how I'm feeling uh, for the most part I've noticed in June I was up in the greats but sometimes I had some okay and upset days but I've seen boho berry who is one of my inspirations I also just subscribed to somebody else but I cannot remember her name I think it starts with an A I'm not sure um, but the way she kind of tracks it's cool because she puts like a mark in but then she like does some like squiggly crap it looks beautiful though not squiggly crap but you know it just looks really pretty um, so I have my mood trackers and then I have one through 31 since there's 31 days in July and then for my health tracker I have my workout and my lazy day I wanted to incorporate the colors I mean these are three so I didn't want to do red blue red red blue red or blue red blue um, so I just have the red and the blue and I'm gonna use the colored pencils to kind of do something here for my working out or my lazy days and then up here I wanted to do a food tracker but I didn't want to take away from this and I didn't want to take away from this I was thinking about doing the food tracker along the side but then it would take away from this section and I also tried to draw a little McDonald's like fry up here that didn't really work out too well um, but I have just a food tracker to mark when we eat at home and when we eat out I kind of want to keep this so I know how often we're eating out because I feel like we do eat out often and I kind of want to cut that so I just have that here with again 1 through 31 that kind of smushed towards the end but it's okay and then down here I have my workout progress now I started working out last month or May when did I start working out I don't remember but I started working out some more and I wanted to kind of keep track of things so these are the things I kind of care about um, so I have how do I explain this so I have um, the week I don't know why I put one here I did I should have done Monday to Sunday is that right yeah Monday to Sunday but for some reason on this I did Sunday to Monday which makes no sense so technically this would be one two so the first and the second day but whatever so then this is the first day of the month because it's just kind of its own day and then the second through the eighth the ninth through the 15th 16th through 22nd you know you get it so on each individual box here I have my weight because I am tracking my weight I'm trying to lose a little bit um, how much I'm lifting as far as arms when I do weights how much I am pressing as far as legs 
legs and then the number of crunches I'm doing and hoping to see I mean from here to here it won't be too much of a significant difference as well as here to here um, but I do want to kind of keep track and kind of watch my intervals go up as far as these and then watch this hopefully go down maybe we'll see and then I have a how I feel down here I kind of want to fill this out towards the end of the month and kind of get a feeling for how I feel doing all of this if this is making me feel good if I need to change things um, and just kind of how I feel about working out in general so I'll fill that out towards the end of the month so this is kind of my workout kind of health situation okay next page let's make sure okay so next page I have my social media tracker I did this last month and I really liked it I had it kind of separately though so I have my tracker on the side as far as uploading for YouTube and Instagram I thought it was funny how I did red and blue because red for YouTube blue for Instagram and this was all sorts of messed up so this may look kind of crazy I had it going like this way at one point it was just wild but um, I have the tracker of my uploads here and I'll just mark those in and then I have the tracker as far as my following I guess if that makes sense I don't want that to sound super weird um, but I I've always tracked it. I just thought it's fun to, it, uh, what am I saying? I just think it's fun to kind of see the progress. Uh, so I have my Instagram, this YouTube channel, and then Brian and Kirsten TV. I just have YouTube too because it's like my second channel. And then down here I have my goals and video idea list. So I kind of covered that just to kind of maybe make it a little bit of a surprise, but there's that and then on this side I did this last month too and I truly loved it it's my to watch I saw someone else do this and I thought that was cool these are supposed to be film reels they don't look too fabulous let me see if I can find the one from June that one looks kind of cool maybe looks kind of cool let me get you back okay let me focus you back Okay, so it's supposed to look like film reels, but I fill out shows that we finish, movies that we watch. Obviously, as you saw, my last one wasn't filled out all the way. That's fine. We don't watch a lot of movies. Uh, we try to, but we don't. And then shows that are finished and stuff. I just thought it was cool to kind of track that. And then my next page, nothing's covered because I don't care. Uh, no, this is just a fun page. So this I had last month as well, and I really liked it. This is my Avery page. Uh, so I wrote her name at the top. New words. I love how I did this. I don't know why. I just like the little, like, Polaroid kind of feel that has uh, but I've been marking her new words it's been fun to fill that out like every day I feel like I'm putting in like three new words because she's always coming up with new stuff and I love doing that and then I have her achievements down here what did I put in as one of her achievements last month I don't know what pins on the other side so I don't want to like throw it up there and have my finances pop up on the other side you know yeah so I have um Oh, started learning her ABCs, singing questions, or singing questions, singing songs, asking questions, and putting on her own shoes. But anyway, I just thought it was cute to have like her achievements down here with some stars and then new words. This section may have to get expanded, but for now I think it's adorable. And maybe I'll change things as she gets older, but I really like that. I might even make her section like two or three or four pages, is depending on the new things that she's doing. I just love it. So there's that and then this is new I didn't do this page last month uh, but I really like it it's a happy mail page happy mail page and I tried to draw little um, envelopes next to it and I have dots all along the side I may have to do doubles but I thought it'd be cool to fill out like shops I get things from maybe if I ordered something that comes in clothes anything like that I order online I just thought it'd be kind of cute to mark this in because sometimes I like to keep track of the things I have or things I've gotten okay this page is kind of going to be covered but this is my finances page so obviously I'm showing you this as I am not filling it out it's the first of the month I thought it was cute that I put money 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 up there but anyway this section was really confusing last month I didn't fill it out at all because I hated the way I set it up I hope I like it like this but I might have to tweak it again just to see depending on if I like it or not um, but I have coming in so the money I am making and the total that I've made at the end of the month I want to keep that and then I have going out and where it's going here with again the total so I can kind of divide the costs, figure out why some things are not adding up things like that so that's just my finances section this section I think this is the last page yes this is my loans section so credit cards um, any loans really um, what else do I have under here credit cards loans I think that's it car do I have the car payment I don't think I have the car payment I don't know but I have things under here um, and I have basically the red and blue check boxes along the side and I also have like a you owe me section but that doesn't really matter um, but I have check boxes along the side I have where the money is going to go to how much I currently owe oh so like medical bills I forgot I have medical bills under here so say for example how much do I owe to well this bill's already been paid but I owed like 400 or something to her doctor her pediatrician that's already completely paid off but I would write down the total say I owed them 96 which is 
example from last month. Um, so I owed them $96 last month. I would write that down. I paid it off completely so I would mark off how much I then owed them after I paid and that would be zero so that's completely paid off. And I kind of wanted to make a section of paid offs down here. Maybe I'll do that for next, next month. Actually I might have room because there's not a lot under this section um, because it'd be cool to kind of track what I'm paying off, what month, and then like maybe my little loan section will be like this big. That'd be pretty cool. So um, that's actually the last page for this section. Um, last month I did six pages and I really liked it. Or I did eight pages of my bullet journal last month and this month I think I did like ten or something like that. And I'm really enjoying it. I like it a lot more just like I showed you guys for tracking purposes, not for daily things. I mean it is daily but not for like an actual planner. That's what I have my Erin Condren for. But I hope you guys kind of got a little bit of a better understanding as what I use my bullet journal for. Um, if you would like to see these types of videos monthly I can show you kind of the way I tweak things. I'm thinking about I could do this or I don't know if I would I don't know I really want to show you how I do it in like a time lapse but I f it takes me like three or four days you guys I'd have to sit down like every day or so to fill in more things so I feel like this might be a little bit easier right now but maybe in the future I can do that um, but again let me know if you like these I don't have to do these videos ever if you don't want to see them just I thought it'd be cool to show you my setup but I hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video